Hey guys, I'm back. I know it's been a long time um, coming, this whole update. Um, apologies if I just, I'm just kind of going on a whim. I haven't done a video in so long. There's no script. They only got the four points that we're going to kind of cover today. But I'm just kind of glad to be making a video. I know that hasn't happened in such a while. The only time I have uploaded is Overwatch clips and they were all mid. So I apologize for that. I tried to go on my YouTube channel recently and make them all unlisted. So it's not just kind Kind of a fucking mess of a page right now and trying to make my vlogs and my gaming videos separately because most of those gaming videos were just for a montage that never got uploaded and you guys never saw and probably never will see i've just been on the uh, on the fence whether or not i wanted it to be a vlogging channel or a gaming channel or you know vice versa i'm also experimenting with like other other stuff with what i wanted to, to do with the channel in general but i think we're just going to give an update for now because you guys deserve it if you guys were i know you guys have been waiting for this video for so long and that's totally okay so yeah, I've been pretty busy as of uh, these past couple years. Uh, life's just been moving pretty fast, and it feels like every day you gotta have like some kind of something to do with it. And for the most part, I'm the first thing on my mind isn't YouTube, which I I know I, I remember at one point in my life I wanted YouTube to like be my main thing, like I wanted to do it every day. That's all I wanted to do. But uh, it's just life happens, and now there's just other things that just kind of take priority over there whether that just be like you know going out and getting you know getting an exercise by longboarding whether that be just kind of going out and shopping or something like that you know it's not my main goal my main goal is to blow i'm just kidding <laughs> But yeah, we've also just been traveling a lot um, these past couple months. Uh, we have been working a lot, but when we aren't working, we're mainly traveling. Um, I'll show the photos up now. But we did go to um, Minneapolis a couple months ago um, for a Chelsea Cutler concert, a pop artist. I know you guys know listen to her like 24-7 because I do. I'm just kidding. I, you know, I, I listen to her a, a lot. But we, I went there with my girlfriend um, and – let me tell you, I really love uh, Minneapolis. Minneapolis is a great city. Um, in top five cities I've been to, I'm going to say uh, Minneapolis might be one or two. Uh, very nice. Uh and it's very big, very diverse. I love all the artwork that is around their surrounding. It's just a great environment. Um, and I'm a little based because or biased because I am a Vikings fan, and that that's the you know home area. That's the hometown of the Vikings. Um, the stadium's there. Beautiful stadium, by the way. Uh, but for the most part, I think yeah, Minneapolis. We also went to an art museum there, which was just beautiful, and they had at one of their exhibitions or exhibitions was the Asian um the Asian fuck what is it called Asian Zodiac Zodiac so it was the year of the dragon um and they had a lot of different Chinese and Asian cultural art up on there and that was really cool I took a bunch of pictures my main goal there when I was there was to find some Mongolian artwork or anything Mongol like from Mongolia that's where I'm from and I wanted to find, kind of you know see some artwork from where I do have obviously uh, uh, I have some artwork, Mongolian art and stuff in my house or my apartment. Um, but yeah, that's that's. I would love to see it in a museum, you know, hung up for a lot of people, other people to experience, other than just me, because I'm the, kind of the only one that just views this art. There's nothing wrong with that, but. It is, it is pretty cool. Other than that, uh, but but before I went to uh, Minneapolis, I actually did move apartments. There was just um, complications with the apartment, and I just I felt like it, I'm at a point in my life where it's time to really become more independent and work towards what I want. And uh, the stepping stone for that is to just live alone um, by myself, and that's what I did. I now have an apartment by myself. Uh, it's just one bedroom and. Golly gee, it's probably the best decision I made in a long time. Um, and it's it's very it's very great. It's a little bit more pricier than what I've been paying for my last places. But gosh, I, I love it. Um, and if you guys are on the fence of whether or not you guys want to live by yourself, and like it might just because you know I liked one of the reasons reasons I liked living with roommates was because yeah I like being social I like being, but it is great to have a space of your own. You don't have to worry about you know 
any complications and you also have to just supply for yourself not really worry about nobody um and that's something that i think i needed for a while it just you know became a little bit more reliant not reliant but i enjoyed that a little bit too much and then you know i also uh, saw the the downside of having roommates too so that that's something we got all moved in i'll have to do like a show you what it is, looks like sometime in a video or a vlog but we'll we'll get there hopefully my, my main my main thing is I want to make this channel a a vlog uh, channel um, because I next week we're going to Denver um, to visit to go to a concert for Julia Wolf and uh, also see my family. Uh, my mom lives up in Denver, so um, I'm I think a good idea is just to vlog. And if that does happen, you guys will be seeing a vlog in Denver and the city, as well as probably me and my parents. Um, but yeah, I also just went to St. Louis. The uh, solar eclipse just happened for in 2024. It happened. The totality happened through, I believe, like part of I want to say it was a diagonal through like Texas all the way to like New, a little bit of New York. Um, it did hit St. Louis. So that's where the closest area we went. Let me tell you, I love it. St. Louis is, okay, St. Louis is kind of not, I won't rank it anywhere neat. Like, it is a beautiful city. I won't, like, I'm not trying to diss St. Louis. Um, I did love it. It it was very um, beautiful. Uh, the stone arc is really, arch is really fucking huge. Never go, I didn't even go in it, just kind of stood out there, took the pictures, of course. Um, there was, the one thing I did like about that place was the sculptures there and the art. It, beautiful. Um, they had a sculpture garden that, in my opinion, is probably one of the best, like, sculpture gardens I've seen. There is over, like, I want to say 50 different sculptures, and we didn't see all the sculptures. We we just kind of, like, went. We kind of were a little bit time-limited, so we got to see what we wanted to see. Um, but for all of them that were there, very pretty, very cool. Um and uh, there was this giant eyeball that I, I noticed. I was doing I was quite I was doing quite a bit of noticing there. <laughs> um, but we also found somebody's like weed they left there, and I just threw it away because I didn't want that shit to like a kid to get that and it to be bad weed or some sh you know you know what I mean. Oh, speaking of weed, I actually quit substances about well I quit nicotine. I want to say about over six or seven months ago, and it's probably been one of the best things I've done. Um, very fortunate of it. It just became too, I became too dependent on it. We're not dependent. I mean, yeah, I would say dependent. I was an addiction, um, and I was just I just couldn't do anymore. I wanted to also be have my lungs back. I constantly felt like I was gonna have a panic attack, at, like whenever anxiety attack, whenever, as well as I just felt like my anxiety was high, like in general. Um, um, and then, like, four four months later, um, about actually now two, I think today marks that day, but two months ago, I quit uh, marijuana. And that, for me, was one of my biggest, you know, achievements. F like, I, I'm really proud of myself for that. I quit it two, about two months ago, and I've been wreaking the benefits ever since then. I, It's just... I've been so heavily dependent on it. You guys do not know. Like, if you know me, like, actually, you know that I was, I was actually on that like crazy. There wouldn't be a day where I wasn't high, and I'm like, I, can, I feel like I can be open about that, um, because it, it did suck. You know, uh, I, I feel like for a while I just kind of was like, it's not a problem. But then after I realized, I wake up, I smoke. And then I just keep smoking throughout the day, whether I'm working or whether I'm not or wh whatever I'm doing, I got to be smoking. And uh, it then led to me like starting to drink. I haven't drank for about two months either, too, because I quit both of those cold, both those cold turkey. Um, and the withdrawals kicked my ass, but we're finally over them. Well, not completely, but we have been getting over them slowly and steady. Um, but I'm so proud of getting off of that stuff because at one point I didn't really, I didn't really, I didn't see it happening. I didn't see it, but I think it was just like a blackout night where I was like, yeah, I think I'm good, you know, which it'll do. Yeah. If you can't really remember what you you're doing, uh, you might want to just kind of set it down too. But yeah, for the most part, that's what I've been doing. Um, we we moved. Also, a lot of work. Uh, believe it or not, I like put in over like sixty hours at one week. I felt drained. I'm also I don't know. So with work, we'll kind of transition to another thing. We are starting school 
in the fall and that will be a very big journey and a very big um a very big thing i've kind of been teetering on the whether or not i'm gonna do i mean i've not teetering on it i've wanted to do it for quite some time now um but now we're finally got all signed up got our got everything in what we need to do for that we're just got to sign up for classes and then we start in the fall that'll be super ex- i'm really excited for it also a little bit nervous because you know I, you know why why wouldn't you be it's just an, it's a whole new experience it's not a new experience i mean yeah i'd say it's a new experience for me um just because i haven't i've been out of a high school for about four years now and that's four years to discover myself and discover uh my emotions and everything like that Speaking of emotions, another fun thing to be proud of is therapy. I have been in therapy for about uh, about more than I th- I want to say two years now, or maybe a year and uh, like six months. But whatever it is, it has helped me tremendously. Um, one of the things is if you guys know me or guys have like you know or anything, it, mental health is a big thing that I always have struggled with. Struggled through it as a teen. Struggled it through, you know, af- outside of af- after I got out of school, um, and the last last like couple years after 2020 was just really hard for me. Um, and I realized how much I had to value my mental health over a lot of a lot of things, including other people, and including you know just like. Whether that be work, whether that be, you know, just what I want to do, like if I want to do something or I don't know, but like even drugs, like I had to just set down the drugs just because, yeah, it's, you know, my mental health can't take it, you know, and that's something that, uh, that I'm very proud of much, very much proud of too. Uh, learning how to cope with your emotions is something you gotta, you just gotta have to learn how to do, but also, you know, there with through therapy and in my opinion, I'm a big advocate for therapy. It's helped me, and it's not everybody's cup of tea. I understand, um, but giving it a shot, trying to you know, giving it a couple time spins around is so much worth it. Just trying to find you know a different therapist, someone to talk to, because that's something you know. Bottling up emotions is never the yeah, never. It means you know I'm not gonna yeah. I'm just gonna say it's never the uh, it's never a good idea. Don't do it. Um, it just leads to not being able to talk, or just you know, to leads to different ways of handling your emotions, whether that be not acknowledging them um suppressing them basically not acknowledging them but everything's bad with that and i think that's something that people need to understand i needed to understand for a long time but i'm finally getting used to that but yeah so really i don't know it just therapy 100 percent. go to it you know um you know whether it i don't know meds is a whole nother another thing you know finding finding your i don't know another thing that my bad i'm just all over the place with that, I think that like meds is a whole nother another spiel that I have I have a lot. I don't know the whole like ADHD thing. Power I have like my power off. If y'all heard that, my my speaker have just powered off. That, that wasn't me powering off. That was my speaker. Um, although I I do want to power off. I kind of got a headache. But we gotta finish this. I'm off topic already. It, like I don't even like like I was already talking about this shit. Um, we're not even gonna talk about any, any further about that. So really, the the meat and potatoes of what we're gonna be talking about the channel. It's not gonna be talking about it for too long because I don't really know. I, what I want to do with this channel is have it be a vlog channel uh, and just kind of like a little bit of a podcast, not a podcast, but like a, just a, kind of like a catch up, you know, talk about life, document stuff, you know, at one point, at some point I'm going to, I'm going to be gone and my life is kind of documented on this channel. And that's something that I think is really cool and neat. And I, I appreciate it. I, and I kind of want to continue doing that. I want, you know, I, I, the one thing that that sucks is that at some point, you know, we're all going to bite the dust and the way that you're remembered in life is stories, is people talking, you know, just like, you know, family, you know, people aren't going to know about your grandpa or your grandma unless you talk about it, unless you unless you share those stories and stuff like that. No one else is going to know. No one else is there to, to talk about it. So it's like with me. What other way is just I mean, I'm going to be documented online my whole my life and just kind of knowing the type of person I am. And I think that's something that's really cool um, that I've always wanted to do. Um, so that's really why I've continued. Like I, I asked on my story whether or not we were going to keep the channel. 
uh, or just kind of start a new vlogging channel. But for the most part, I can. Uh, this channel has had videos from all the way from middle school. Um, and that's that's over like 20 years, not like not over 20 years, but that's like over like 10 years ago. That's that's insane. That's crazy. About 12 years ago of footage. That's yeah. All right. Um, for the most part, I got to stop the recording. We record for a little bit, but that is just a big update and everything. Um, I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.